He was revered by the people of Papua New Guinea as the father of the nation. Michael Samare often returned to the remote village where he grew up. In an elaborate initiation ceremony, he took on the title of Sana, the peacemaker. It was a quite deliberate step to demonstrate to his country that he saw village ties and village traditions as a vital link with development that must be maintained. Adaptable and obviously talented, he became a school teacher, a radio announcer, a public servant and a radical political activist. He protested against what he saw as racist Australian colonialists. This is why I want to see that, you know, so sooner this country is independent, the better it is. He led his people to independence from Australia in 1975 and became the country's first Prime Minister. The handover was orchestrated by Gough Whitlam, who had promised the South Pacific nation self-governance years before. At times, Michael Samare had close relationships with many of Australia's Prime Ministers. At other times, they were strained. Australia is still PNG's biggest aid donor, but there have been many disputes over the distribution of funds. When people are investing here, they don't have to uh, dictate to us, you know, uh, what we should do with the money. Uh, when people invest in my country, I'd like to see that, you know, they invest in my terms. Michael Samare's political career lasted almost 50 years. He lived through no confidence votes, corruption accusations and a constitutional crisis. My body is getting used to it, so I've got a thick skin. But he kept fighting, serving as Prime Minister for 17 years over four separate terms. He leaves behind his wife, Lady Veronica, and five children.